So part one, we did a good job on the suspension. Part two, we did a good job of the tuning. Part three, we're just bodging it. We're just bodging it, ready to race. Now then, welcome to another video. I have just spent most of our budget from today cleaning this, so I'm starting here. But it's stage three, part three, the finale of Civic Prep before its next race, its second race event at Brands Hatch. So if you've not been following the story, we've softened the front suspension, added more camber and some of the little bits with the alignment, and then that was the first video. In the second video, we were at Dark Side Developments, we got a three inch exhaust, and Josh changed the tune slightly, brought the VTEC lower, and basically we're making the same power now, but with loads more mid-range power. Now in today's video, we're just doing the odds and sods. We've, we've got a few little bits and bat jobs to do. Yeah, you've probably just seen this video, was perhaps the last workshop video, reviving this car. Anyway, the first job that we're gonna do, or should I say the, the two jobs that we're gonna try and do today, the first one is to fit another fire extinguisher nozzle inside the cabin, Chris, dug out his spares and he found some tube and he found some nozzles which were with the tube and are now not with the tube but we've got we've got a nozzle as well it's in a little bag somewhere we'll, we'll find it we'll find it and we've also got the hose to fix if you didn't see the dyno video there's a power steering hose the low pressure side coming off the rack or is it going from the cooler to the rack or well, it's a low pressure hose anyway we're pretty sure, I don't think so anyway. And uh, yeah, that got a bit too close to the exhaust manifold and has perished. So it's the one that runs, you can't quite see it, but it's behind the engine, it runs all the way to the cooler on the front. So we're gonna try and get that hose off and change it. We we'll probably might have to do it from behind. I might put the car on the ramp just to make it easier. Might make it easier, might not. So yeah, we've got two kind of hose slash pipe jobs to start with all right it's me again still a bit ill but just wanted to ask you again if you thought about joining the patreons yet you know we've got a private chat room in the discord just for the patreons you get benefits i mean it's not that fancy really you get videos a few days earlier you can get a bit of a community vibe support me by adding just one more subscription service to your roster you must have loads of them what's one more huh if you didn't hear me last time, the YouTube revenue has not been so good lately, so... <clears throat> I need to get the Patreon money, yeah? I'm spending like three times more than what I'm earning at the minute and it's not sustainable, let's see. Okay, thanks. This video is just a bit of bodging, but I know a lot of you like the garage videos, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, the other thing to do, we need to get the transponder from this car and work out a way of rigging it. Hopefully we can find out a way of rigging it so we can just plug and play in each car. That would be ideal. Apparently it's only two wires, but it's one of those with the subscription and all that shit. Yeah, not ideal. I need to get myself a, just a regular Joe transponder really, but um, there's a free jobs that we're gonna, ooh, there's a free jobs that we're gonna start with anyway. Dog's here, just chilling. Won't be here for too much longer tonight, but if we can get the nozzle done and that power steering hose, that would be good. Ed, Mr. Skyline, the champion, has donated us some hose as well. I don't know where I've put it. Good start. Oh, there's the hose. There it is, look. So hopefully this is the same size. This is just braided, um, what do you call it? Just braided hose. Braided uh, hose. Yeah, I don't know. But it's meant to be low pressure anyway, so hopefully this will be all right. As long as the uh, fittings work are you gonna do a focus yeah so that's the hose anyway so hopefully that works but i think we'll start with the nozzle and yeah fun times i've lost the nozzles for the fire extinguisher they were in a little bag i'm hoping that means i've put that little bag in my backpack which is not here but we're gonna have to move on so i mean we're probably not gonna get scrutinized at the next one anyway but it's something that Needs doing, and you know, we're gonna do it, aren't we? So that power steering hose comes off there. Oh, it's quite a big tube, so that, I don't know if that'll be any good, but it comes off here, 
and runs down the side of the engine through the chassis leg I guess comes back out here and goes into that cooler so I think bumper off job well um, I'm gonna wheel it on the ramp just to make life a bit easier but I think it's gonna be a bumper off job steering fluid is running. How are we going to do this without losing loads of uh, fluid? <laughs> Trick question. Waiting here so long. Just trying to wiggle this clamp off. If I can. It's a built in ability. Ooh, 12. That might be too big. Hmm, that's 10. Or 9. Unless it stretches over, but doubt it. It's quite a chungus one, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's next size up. Oh, the power steering fluid's the same colour as the coolant. What are you doing after anyway? Bigger hose. A what? Any bigger hose? What is in diameter? Uh, Maybe. I can help you first, and then we'll look for hose. Different vibe over here, isn't it? Oh, look at my Apple Watch. Oh. Scratched it? Yeah, scratched its foot. I feel like that will go on. Maybe. No, it's too small. Shy, isn't it? It's not going on. Yeah, no, we tried it. Buy some of some <laughs> Buy some of that hose out again. It's just got stagnant on the back. Keeps getting caught under the crank bullet. Okay, the last chance we have to do anything productive today successfully is to uh, sort this transponder out. So, hopefully I can find a way to easily have it in both cars, but I can't remember exactly how it... So I've got like, a, obviously I've got a bracket here for it, for this one. But it, has to connect to the key inside the car in order to work, so it's a bit of a pain. Can't remember how it was to wire. Four pins on that. So that's the transponder. It's transponder. Let's see if we can see where it comes through. That's the little key. Doing aha. Uh -huh. Alright, well, that was easy enough. And then it just gets 12 volts from there, does it? So, what I need to do then is have those two magnets, please. Magnet? No magnet, okay. So, what I need to do is have these two wires on like a button plug connector. What the hell is going on here? Who wired this car? All right, so blues to ground, and then it's getting its power from this purple, which I'm guessing is tapped in soon. It's also doing something else.
Oh. That's the nozzles. They're in the electrician's box. That's the nozzles. We're recording. Just found the nozzles. They were in the electrician's box. I think on the MR2, we can just plug that in that and charge it up and run it like a like a standalone thing or is this just direct power? And just charge it up there. Uh, put it there or something. Anyway, hopefully that's been a good intro to this video. There's bits to do but I'm not going to do them today. I'm going to order some bits, some bits to make this nice. This is the wide band that Josh wanted us to keep in. Make the tune easier. We still need to put the weight in. We still need to weigh it. Yeah, still got stuff to do. I've got a busy week ahead, so I'll not be up here for a couple of days. But hopefully this weekend. Well, we've got to go Anglesey and help Josh in his race. But we'll come back on Sunday and hopefully have a load of parts and just do it all on Sunday. So I'll see you there. Home time. All right, the good news is I managed to get some hose, yeah? Managed to get some hose, managed to get some rib nuts and some little bits and bats that I wanted. The bad news is I have almost certainly, most definitely bought the wrong kind of hose for the application. So is it going to be better to put on hose, which is not perhaps suitable? I'll leave the bird. I'm going to have to, I'm going to change it, I'm going to change it. So I think what I'll do is I'll order some online, some hose that is actually, you know, resistant to hydraulic oil. So. The problem I had, the fuel hose and this hose, which is marked as heater hose, I know, um, different ratings, yeah? And this one had the higher temp rating, so I thought, oh, that'll be fine. None of them specified hydraulic oil as being something that they could take, right? So it was either go for stuff I said, um, fuel hose that would go up to 100 degrees, or heater hose, and they said it would go up to 150 degrees or something like that, so I thought higher temp rating, right? I mean, it's almost definitely not suitable for the application. But, I don't see that we have a choice. So, well, I mean, it's gonna get us out of a pickle for now, and we can maybe revisit it in the future, maybe put a braided hose on it or something, seeing as though the reason we're changing it is because it burnt on the exhaust manifold. So maybe we just change it to a, a kind of braided kind of hose, yeah? Anyway, we've got a lot to do today. We faffed about far too much last weekend, just faffing about with stupid stuff. What we need to do, we need to weigh the car, we need to put that weight back in it probably, the, the ballast. Um, we need to get the front end sorted out, we still need to do the fire extinguisher nozzle. And we've got another, you know, you know we, just, we just need to do some stuff, so let's just do it. I know I'm known for doing things properly, but this time, this time not so, not so properly. What are the differences then? Well, I've checked the spec sheets and, you know, it's, it's quite clear this is, not the right Jose for the application. It would have been ideal if we could just get the same what was on it, because we know that works, right? But uh, let's just send it, eh, I guess. Oh, I don't have any proper cutters for this either. We need to get the old hose off. Remember, it does like some jigsaw work underneath. Do we even have the right oil to put back in it? No, of course we don't. For some reason, this has got genuine Honda power steering fluid in it. Which, use only Honda, I know that's what it says, but, you know, I ain't got any mate, so I'm sorry, but. That'll probably do. I know I'm known for doing things properly, but. This is just gonna get us out of a pinch, isn't it? Just a little pinch. Fucking wrong oil and fucking wrong fucking everything, whatever. It's a low pressure side. Doesn't matter, I don't know. Is 
you get an idea of how long it needs to be first. I got three meters thinking, just in case. Might need to do some heater hose work while we're here, eh? I've been thinking about my doorbell. I'm going to try and slit it with a knife now and see if that'll allow me to get in to free it off. Fucking eyes, cunt. Looks like we're going in the fucking bucket. Fuck off, piece of shit. Don't tell me this was 12 all along, you cunt. This has got to be, it's got to be fucking bigger than 10. They measured the hose pipe, didn't we? Didn't measure the fucking other side of it. Cunt. 12. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. So we're going to have to change this anyway. Oh, we're not going to have to change it because once it's on and gone, but we can make this better, can't we? So get a 12 to 10. Well, this is just fucking lovely. Mm mm mm. You know, when you're doing something stressful and all the time you know what you're doing is wrong, but also temporary. It's kind of annoying. And I got hydraulic oil in my eyes, but they seem to have taken it quite well. Hey, what's that leak at the back? Where does that come from? We've been leaking. I've not even done anything on the steering rack side until today. Oh, she's on there now. Oh, no, she's not. Genuine Honda, eh? Shitty fucking job. All this just from not fitting the exhaust manifolds carefully enough, maybe. I don't know how you want to word that. This has been a horrible job. I wonder if we could spin the pump without the engine by using a drill or something. Where would that pump go? Chuk 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 chuk. So part one, we did a good job on the suspension. Part two, we did a good job of the tuning. Part three, we're just bodging it. We're just bodging it, ready to race. I wonder if that is gonna bang a little bit. Oh well. Just done some little health checkings, uh, further health checkings. Seems all right. Probably do a full bolt check on Friday night after testing. Obviously, I'm concerned about this, but it'll do for now, won't it? We'll uh, 
probably wasted time changing it just to change it again, but peace of mind, I guess. <sighs> Fucking bastard thing. Right, fire extinguisher nozzle. This is gonna be, I mean, this is, I don't agree with doing this, but we're gonna have to do it. We've got three nozzles in there at the minute and adding a fourth, well, you know, it's only gonna, the fire extinguisher is only gonna release so much fluid, right? So another nozzle doesn't mean more fluid, it just means a fluid's gonna go out of another orifice, right? So by going from three to four, we're just gonna have to point it in the same place, which is on my legs, which is where you typically fire it at. One, two, three. So all these are kind of aiming at me. I reckon we just put another one there. It's uh, gonna be the easiest way to, to do it, I reckon. Just in there somewhere. If you didn't see the Donington video, then I'm not doing this out of my free will. I'm doing this because we were, we were asked to, basically. Apparently, a document that the officials had differs from the one that the installation one I found was. This is going to be fun to grab from the back, isn't it? How are we going to do that? Right, we're going to weigh the car now. I've just uh, chucked 10 litres of fuel in it, which should bring it about to what the weight will be when we finish the race. We're probably going to put that ballast in, but we'll just double check it. There's an adult up here as well, an adult engineer. Dan's up and um, told him about the heater hose thing and <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to change. <laughs> Fucking hell. That was just a social faux pas, that, you know. That was, for some reason I said, yeah, no worries, I'll just buy the heater hose and uh, here we are, anyway. Love wasting time. I am the champion at wasting my own time. So it's 993 now, so it should go up to about 1080, at least. Yeah, there we go. 1091. Oh, we still need to put the fucking transponder on properly. Got some wiring jobs to do yet today. Right, that's pretty confidently. 1090 with about 10 litres of fuel on. So the weight is 1090. The power was what, 217, was it? Just having another look at this graph. And yeah, the peak power is pretty much the same, right? I know it blew 216, but it should have been 218. So it's, a, it's around about the same peak power, but we knew that. So if I do it as 217, which is what it recorded, then it works out. 199. But if it blows 220, we get 201. So we're right on the limit, aren't we? I mean, you wonder what the margins on the dyno are for which way it could go. I think we should be conservative, but at the same time, I'll have three GoPros and some other gear in there, which might equal to about another kilo. But then I'll probably not have my big boots on and stuff like that. Maybe we just run a little bit heavy to start with. We don't fully know what the fuel usage is on this year. I imagine it's about 800 mil a minute, but we don't know for sure. And we've got the heavier wheels on with the heavier tires, so. Okay, executive decision has been made. I think we should put the ballast in anyway, just to be safe. I think we're gonna have way more performance regardless. So, 
Let's just put the ballast back in. And we'll, we'll still keep an eye on the weight, but I mean, we can put it in now, can't we? It's gonna throw the corner weight in off a little bit, obviously, but. So it was 1080. Oh, that's heavy. It was 1080, right, just then? This is definitely more than 10 kilos. It's heavy as fuck. Ten eighty. It reckons that's only eight kilos, but it's not. It's heavy as fuck. Yeah, fair enough. All right, we're all ballasted up, so we're going to find out what it weighs. With the ballast with me and it, this should put us, let's get the calculator, this should put us at a nice, uh, safe, legal margin. So we passed at Donington and our weight after the race was 1093, which is basically the same as what this is, yeah? And our peak power compared to Donington is It's within half a percent, right? So I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Our power's within half a percent and the weight's pretty much the same. We're within 0.1 of a percent, so... Come on, surely, surely that's going to be fine, right? Surely? Stop calling me Shirley. Yes, I am serious. Making a right mess. Pulled all that out, but... Just decided to take the power that goes to the heater and the fan motor. Because that's going to run, I mean, both of these things are not even going to be an amp, I don't think. So, yeah, just going to rub it from there. I reckon I could write a book on uh, making jobs take far longer than what they should. Wiring two sensors, an hour, two hours, I don't know. Fucking long time anyway, that's for sure. Back, got presents. I feel like I've been doing a lot of silly stuff on this lately rather than just doing what I need to do. I don't know what the hell I was doing with that exhaust. That was, I blame the tisms on that one. If you don't know what I mean, then, you know, social situations making the wrong choice. I had a decision to make between two hoses. And obviously you get anxious about making the right choice, don't you? And then you make the wrong choice anyway. That's what happened yesterday. Anyway, the hose, the good hose should be here. Hopefully tomorrow, we'll see. But we're gonna do breaks today. Pixel sent me some type RA, some beefier, racier pads for the front. We're going to fit them in today. That's uh, pretty much it. I'll give it a wash as well because it's filthy. We'll give it a wash. And they sent us some more Dixel stickers as well because, you know, chances are. I uh, can't believe we got damage. Quite, quite a lot of contact uh, we got on that rear left hand in the door uh, at Donington. Hopefully, brands will be not as bad, but brands is a. It's a bitch to overtake, innit? But I'm hoping, I mean, I'm, I'm secretly hoping I'll just be away in the distance from everyone. I mean, it might be a boring race, but if I just start and win and, and lead the race and win, then happy days, innit? Yeah, happy days indeed. But let's get the brakes done. Nice, easy job that we can't mess up. We can't mess this up, can we? Surely not. We'll take those anti-squeal pads off this time. Mmm, oh they don't even come with anti-squeals. Advanced brick technology. Beefy, 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 beefy. Do we get an arm eight? The dove out. I'm gonna open this door for you, lad. Come on, lad, you can do it. You can do it, come on. Big ol', go on. Get down, 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 down. No, go that way, go that way. don't go too fast, you'll fucking hit something. Come on, see the big open hole, go, go, go down, 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 down. Oh, cunt. Down, downwards. Down, down, can you not see the fucking big door? We were launching these silicon hoses yesterday and I fucking caught with the M3 a couple of times, but I had to stop what we were doing. I'm not trying to hit him, just trying to... Him heard, we're trying to scare it off, so out the door. Come on, lad. Wish I could be one of them people that's like hated animals sometimes. 
but you know, it's a nice looking bird, isn't it? Come on, lad. Look at the big door. Look at this big door here. Look, look, big door. Go out the door. Out the door. All right, whatever. So these pads, I mentioned it before, these are Dixel Z-Type, which are like a fast road. So they're a pad that you can put in, use on the road, then go to track kind of thing and not worry too much about harshness or vibrations or squealing. Whereas these are a, more of a racing pad. Nice. Alright, I'm going to find some torque specs for everything that we've touched, which is most the front end. To offset some of the numpty behaviour of recent, I've talked everything and marked it with a paint pen. Yeah. Hopefully that offsets some of the uh, silly stuff that we've done whilst repairing this car. Now, Pidgey, Pidgetto, has just been doing some scoping about, so we'll try and chase him once more. He's up here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there he goes. Go on, go for that door, lad. Down. Down. Come on, man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Pidgey. Pidgey! Come on! The doves. Black and white town. Where's he gone now? What are you doing, man? Just go out the door. Come on! Hey! Hey! Can you open the other door for you? Maybe he'll get tempted if I open it. He came in the other door, so... Maybe he's waiting for this one to open. Right, I've created another opportunity for you to exit. All you need to do now is exit. Oh, has he seen it? Has he seen it? Go on! Go on! Ah. I think that's us. I think we're done. Car's clean. What's left to do? Little jobs, in there. Redo that hose when the right stuff comes. Fit my new trailer lights and all that stuff. Do you really want to see me fit some lights in a trailer? Or do you just want to see it when it's ready to go? We're going in a van this weekend. Got a van for a full weekend. Camper van, kind of race van. 
You'll recognize it, don't worry. So what have we done in this video? We've changed the brake pads today. We've talked up all the suspension that we had off, paint marked it. We've added some permanent wiring for the wideband sensor and the transponder. No more rushing about for Josh and Simmons. We fitted a fire extinguisher nozzle that we definitely didn't need to. And we've given it a wash. So, all's well that ends well. I'll pick this up when I'm on my way out. This is the last day. This is the last job. This is the last job to do on the last day. Yes, got the heater hose. No, it's not heater hose, silly. It's fuel hose. Up to 120 degrees as well, so it's the good kind. And it's braided. It's 25 quid though, fucking well, you know, it is. Got the braids. Give your engine bay that professional look, it said in the advert. Well, I don't know about that, but maybe um, if it does hit the exhaust again, it'll be a little bit better protected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Right, let's get it on. Then we're done. Yeah. Your bonnet stick. That's what they all say. Can you lean around the back of the engine and grab that while you're here? Yeah. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Give that a little tug. Cheers. Just hold on to it. Yeah. I um, changed. So I burnt through this pipe on the dyno <laughs> because I changed the exhaust and didn't tend to it properly. Thank you. Uh. And then I changed it for the wrong pipe. And I, I knew it was the wrong pipe, but I just carried on fitting it anyway, like pure autismo. <laughs> You're like, fuck it, I'll start it now. I just didn't know what I was doing. I, I knew I was wasting my own time, but I'd committed to it. <laughs> oh, <wow>. Yeah. <laughs> and um, here I am, doing at this. eight o'clock at night, doing it properly. Your chariot awaits, though. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the van this weekend. <laughs> He's swapping a favour for a favour there. He's going to the Nürburgring this weekend to the N24, following the tent box. Tent box has not been out yet this year. I've fell out with it a little bit. Been being a bit of a hotel slut instead. But <laughs> Premier Inn and uh, did some travel lodgings as well, didn't we? But anyway, it's quite late on, but we are going to finish this off and get it on the floor, get the bumper back on. And then it's good to just load on the trailer then. That's, this is the last job, yeah? I think it might be eight and a half that we need. We'll try eight and a half and can always go up, can't we? Uh, I've actually bought some centre punches as well. Let's fucking do it properly. Uh, the GoPro died, but yeah, <laughs> long story short, can you guess what happened to that clamp? Ugh. Yeah, it, uh, it decided enough was enough. I mean, can't blame it really, we, we gave it hell, but I'm pretty happy with this now. So I couldn't get another clamp in there because there's just not enough room, but I did get another one at the front. So, I mean, the hose can still move a little bit, but obviously it doesn't need to move and it doesn't need to hit the crank pulley or the wheel and I think we've achieved that, so yeah, job jobs. I might just, yeah, where's the old snipper I might just get rid of that cable tie so it's not attached to the bodywork there. Or we can maybe put another one on a bit looser, but Let's 
still got one up there, look. Just a loosey goosey one. Nah, it's all good. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. So we've gone from super bodge to not so bodge. Now it's in a stronger cable, braided cable, and it's just fuel hose underneath there. But the posher one that goes up to 120 degrees, so hopefully it'll be alright. Now I just need to have a bit of a tidy up. Maybe not too much of a tidy up because we need to bleed the reservoir, ignore the dust that's on there. Uh, bleed the system, not the reservoir. Oh shit. And then uh, then we're done boys. That was a bit of a task, wasn't it? 10 past 11. I know you love it when I do that and it doesn't even focus. I know you love it. I know you do. Oh, it's train, it's train. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to blast this speed run. I'll see you at the other side. All right. <laughs> it might look very similar to what it did before. I couldn't get the power steering to bleed up without... Well, I presume the pump needs to, to start churning. And I didn't want to start the engine. I didn't want to fuck about spinning the pump again without the proper attachment for the drill. I didn't want to use the impact. So you're going to do it tomorrow. So I'll see you there. Everything else good to go. We're tidy up. There's nothing else to do with that. I'm pretty confident this is it. All right, so we'll come back tomorrow. I'll see you there. I'll even do a little bit of loading up the van. We're renting the van this weekend from Champion Productions Limited or, or whatever, whatever he's calling it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's, it's only out nice like a race van. You all said I should buy a race van. Well, he built one and I can just rent it off him and it'll work out well for us both, hopefully in the long term. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll finish it off. See you there. Half 11. All right, skip forward a little bit. Just a quick mobile phone video to say we're going a little bit later than planned. I'm going to be a bit late at Brands Ash tonight, but we're going. We're going. Fixed on my trailer lights, just about. Just don't don't worry about that lens on the thing. New floppies, yeah, kind of. So none of the bits arrived in time, other than the straps. So I'm still in the old shitty dolly wheel. Uh, I had to improvise with the side lights here. We've got one upside down, one on the piss, whatever. Uh, I managed to fix the brake lights and all that stuff though. I managed to fix it. It's, it's, it's not the best, but it's more legal. And then the van. Oh, the van of dreams. I am going to do a video tomorrow, by the way, I've decided. We'll test all the mods on track together. Yeah, we'll do some testing, testing. The van. Oh, my gear. Oh, my gear. I'm more. Uh, I've even got stuff that I don't necessarily need, but... Why well, not when you've got capacity? Oh, I'm very much looking forward to this. Yes. Yes, I am. I've even had a go faster air cut. It's a bit sweaty and messy at the minute, but go faster air cut. Look, I've got a racing stripe. Uh, make you go faster. See you there. Testing tomorrow. Thanks for watching this. Bit of something different, these this this free part, isn't it? A lot of head cam, a lot of mumbling about, but good times, yeah. I get myself to Brands Hatch, I'll see you there.